What's up guys, Nick here, and we're going to check out how the ripple edit mode works. And what it basically allows you to do is make changes to the timeline and you won't have overlaps or gaps or weird things happening. Like if you, if I make changes right now to this part, it's just, it's just going to overlap and um, that's not kind of how we want it to work. And But if we turn on the ripple edit mode, and I extend the size of this, sorry, the size of this, everything ahead of it moved with that change. So I don't have any overlap. And if I move this back, that moves back with it. So I won't have any gap, which is pretty handy for making changes and structuring ideas or editing audio or spoken word or whatever. So it's a pretty handy new feature that they added here to Studio One. Uh, so let's undo these changes. And another thing you can do is copy and paste and delete items and um, the patterns and audio events will move with those uh, changes. So I'm going to paste in a part here and you can see it got split up. If I delete it, part moves back so I don't have that gap there. So that's pretty handy. If you want that gap, you can just turn off uh, ripple edit mode and delete the part and you'll have that gap. But if you want it to move, if you want uh, not to have a gap, you know, the ripple edit mode allows you to do that, which is pretty handy. And if we could, we can also like create rests and spaces. And when we make changes, sorry, I don't want to do that. I just want to move this forward. You can see this, uh, the structure remains intact. Like, and if I change the size of this, all that, it all moves with it. So that's that's the ripple edit mode basically. If I move this, all that gets moved back. If I move that forward, I can create a gap. All right, so you have a lot of control over uh, changing the the structure of your events and in your timeline without it uh, overlapping and ruining uh, the existing structure that you've created. So that's pretty awesome. That's a really handy feature that they added. So that's the ripple edit mode. Um, I don't know if there's too much more to it, but that's basically it. So hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Take care until next time.